Hello to all the cool kids out there and welcome to an early live session here on Tsunami Rose Designs YouTube channel. I am Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net and I am here to go live to hang out with you guys and to make some easy DIY junk journal embellishments. Um, I do want to thank you guys for joining me so early. Um, I wanted to go live last night, but at 8 o'clock p.m. last night, it was 78 degrees. So I was like, uh, <laughs> like it's a little too hot to go live right now. Like that's a little ridiculous because it's only freaking March, right? But that's Las Vegas life for you. Hi, Tina. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not exactly an early morning person, but I'm going to have to be. Since it's a little hot, I might even have to go to my mom's house to go live from now on. I don't know. But I made these embellishments. Um, well, actually, I made this printable last night. Um, I wanted, like, I had enough embellishments with words on them. So I wanted something different. And I didn't want anything, like, in particular. So what I did was I put a bunch of numbers. I hope this doesn't make your head hurt. <laughs> I put a bunch of numbers in different kind of arrangements. You get two different words, uh, two different pages. And um, I thought these would be fun to use in my embellishments. Because like I said, I've, I've had, I have too many embellishments that are um, with words. So I want to switch it up a little bit. And so this is what I have come up with. And I put this under the vocabulary card set because I don't know, I had nowhere else to put it. <laughs> I know they're not exactly vocabulary words. Good morning, Rosemary, and hi, Maggie. Um, so that is what I'm going to be working with. This is the newest printable in my shop. So that's what I'm going to be working with, as well as the flowers that are in my mystery box. Um, you should have seen this last night. I put together a couple of mystery boxes, and <laughs> this is what's left. So I got to make more flowers. But I'm always left with the smallest little flower, so I'm always trying to do something with them as well. Um, so, again, this is uh, my newest printable and, I guess, my um, mystery box flowers. Let me get the link for the mystery box so you guys can see it. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. So here's the mystery box also that I used. So, hi. I'm going to be trying to go live at this time every day now because it's just fresh right now for the time being. So all I've been really doing is like putting like a flower and then the numbers, a flower and the numbers. So that's pretty much the, the situation I've got going on. I also have this like butterfly with the numbers on them. And so that's kind of the style that I'm following right now. Just really simple embellishments that I'm going to do. Um, oh, and I also have like a small haul. I went to the... <clears throat> Me and my husband are hanging out this weekend because <laughs> he's been kind of going out to California like every weekend for, <laughs> for like a month now. So I'm like, uh, we should probably hang out. <laughs> like, let's hang out. So... We were together this weekend, and I decided that I wanted him to take me through uh, antique shopping out here in Las Vegas, which I've never really done. Hi, Felicia. I've never really um, gone antique shopping out here in Las Vegas, so I wanted to do that, and um, so I did. Uh, there's a bunch of antique shops around town. And there's a lot more concentrated um, downtown. In downtown Las Vegas, there's at least, mm, I'm going to say a dozen antique shops. I didn't go to a dozen of them, but I did go, yeah, they do look a little bit like license plate numbers. Just a little bit. This is what the printable looks like. Why is my finger wet? I don't know. This is what the printable looks like. You get two pages of just all sorts of different numbers and different arrangements <laughs> i went a little crazy last night but i'm like i want something different i don't want words anymore <laughs> and then i'm trying to think of something else like i was thinking like maybe addresses <clears throat> just like random addresses or something 
Sorry if you hear birds. There's like a freaking toucan or something outside. I don't know if it, he's the loudest one. I don't know if you could hear him. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Welcome. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, I have to make a lot of these because, because, because I have 20 junk journals I'm trying to fill. Currently, I have about, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 junk journals that have their paper already picked out. Um, I do have a couple more I have to do. I have like six more I have to do and then I have to no I have um four more I have to do and I have to make six more junk journals oh my gosh <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna be a little busy just a little bit let's put this again right here so it's okay if I do like the same flower a couple of times it's okay well, probably won't end up in the same journal anyways. And I like to go through this at least two times. I just like the look of two lines. I don't know. I should just put the needle that does two. I ha It has an attachment for two needles. I just have never been bright enough to actually do it. <laughs> but I know it's possible. I know it's possible. So that looks cute right there. Hi, Dana. Welcome. I'm going to be going live at this time now. <laughs> I know everybody's going to like it. I'm not exactly a morning person. <laughs> I know it's better for the East Coast people. So I'm doing this with white thread so that I can go through it and still kind of like still read it. So that is what I am liking about it. <clears throat> That's what I like to use a white thread for. Okay, this is looking real cute, real cute. Got a nice little stash going already. <clears throat> Just put it in front of the flower somewhere where it looks nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> it's just because I'm out of the loop. Like, I'm used to going to bed really, really late. And now I have to go to bed early. Because I went to bed, like, at, oh, my gosh. Like, at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> Then I woke up at, uh, like, 6. So, that's not very good for me. But when I get enough sleep, <clears throat> I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> I just got to get, um, just got to get into the groove of getting up early. That's all. And, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got to sneeze. One moment. It's windy out here, and that always makes me sneeze. Of course, I have the windows open and the door open, and all the air is flowing in. It's great. <laughs> okay, I'm picking out a couple more flowers here to do. Oh, there's this one. It's pretty little. Yeah. Let's see. This looks still cute. I'm kind of picking out kind of smallish, kind of not the smallest ish. Thank 
Thank you, Dana. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess like this makes a little bit more sense. A little bit. Sorry, another sneeze snuck up on me. Oh, my God. Now my eyes are crying. Give me one second. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the allergies are real out of here. I'll tell you what. My lawn is full of pollen that my tree releases. So that's probably what. I don't know. I'm, I've become my mom. I'm, like, allergic to everything. <laughs> and that's my cat talking to the birds. You might hear that. <laughs> That's a fake bird. That's a fake bird. Okay, let me put this here. Okay. Which flower pack did you print for your shop for this? Yeah, I print all of them. I print all of them, then I cut them all up. Like the ones you're using, it's hard to decide from the shop. Yeah. <laughs> I use all of them. I don't discriminate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I tend, I print out all of them. I know which ones are a little bit easier to cut out with my scan and cut, and I avoid certain ones, but in general, I do print all of them. Why are you crying, boy? Why are you crying, boy? I'm going to put this one off a little bit to the side just to make it a little bit interesting. I guess it decided to go really off to the side. And I don't glue these collages. You could definitely, you don't have to have, uh, you don't have to use a sewing machine. You could just glue them together. <laughs> like, definitely. Just glue it. No problem. Where's your toy? Go get your toy. I don't know where he has it. He's wanting me to throw his toy, but I don't know where it is. Okay, so that one's off a little bit to the side. So there's that one. Okay, let me go throw his toy and while I blow my nose away from the microphone a little bit. Watch out, Lulu. Uh, yeah, see, so you don't bring me your toy. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just cry and cry. Ready? It's going. Go get it. Okay. That cat, as soon as I wake up, he's like, oh, play, play, time to play, let's play. <laughs> Time to play, play. Yeah, let's play. I don't want to go to work. I just want to crash. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know the feeling. Let's do this. Jill, you're funny. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to try and go live at this time every day from now on. It's my summer schedule, I guess. I don't know. Till I move into a place where the air conditioner is not so loud. <laughs> and I can go live <laughs> at the same time during summer. We'll see. I just don't want to um, have my husband be hot at night when he's trying to sleep while I go live. <laughs> That wouldn't be cool. So, around this time right now, I can still turn uh, turn off the AC. It's starting to get hot now, maybe like around 3 o'clock. 
yeah, I would say after 3 o'clock, it's hot right now. But it's not hot, hot. For me, hot is like 90s and above. If it's like 80, I can still, I might still be okay without the AC. I just don't have a fan right now. <laughs> I gotta clean my fans. Okay, so there's this one right here. Really easy. Again, I'm using my new printable. Um, I put them under vocabulary words, even though they're not words at all. <laughs> but I had nowhere else to put them, and I wasn't feeling creative as to titles. <laughs> so I just called them um, vocab vocabulary words set number three. Let me get the link for you guys so you guys can check it out. Okay, and paste. Okay, cool. So... So we got this far right here left over. So let's do something with like that. And right now, the day is cooperating with me. It is windy and it is cloudy. Because usually around this time, there's this like beam of light that's like right here. It's so awkward. Okay, let's put this flower right here. So I was going to buy the AC so that I could go live during summer. Um, but my mom told me that she might be moving to California and I need to talk to her about when she's moving so I can figure out what I'm doing. She said I can move into her place, which would be great because her AC is a regular AC and not a swamp cooler like mine. You're just really loud. That's their only. I mean, I have no issue with it. It's just really loud, and I can't go live. <laughs> One second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, the allergies out here are freaking real. <clears throat> Just too real. Okay, so let me get some more flowers. We have this one. And these print out pretty small. They're not even an inch, they're like a quarter inch by about two inches, a little bit less than two inch. So I thought that would be a good size. Let's do this white flower here. Good morning, Irene. It might do me good to start waking up early and going to bed on time. My grandma got really mad. <laughs> My grandma started telling me, you know, you have the you have the chance, you know, to work in the morning, so you should really work in the morning. And I'm like, oh, grandma, you're right. <laughs> she guilt tripped me, <laughs> and now I feel like I should. <laughs> I don't mean anything. <laughs> I just wanted different combinations. Like, it started with this one where I had the numbers, the number, and then that. That's my original idea. And then I was like, well, I don't want to have everything just be number, blah, blah, blah. So then I'm like, this one could be just numbers. And that was going to be the general idea. And then I was like, no, let's switch it up. So <laughs> this one has numbers and letters. This one has the numbers dash numbers numbers and letters, and this one has letters dash numbers. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's just aesthetic. <laughs> just aesthetic. <laughs> Although, let me see, let me see. Um, like a hitting Mickey here, this one's my birthday. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the only difference. That's the only one that has any meaning to it. <laughs> I am going to be 31 this year. 
31. I'm cool with it. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, Stacy. Good morning. Good morning. I wish I could sing. That'd be nice. I can't sing, though. It'd be terrible. Maybe if I get auto tuned. <laughs> this out the way. So we got this flower with these just random numbers. <laughs> just random, random numbers. Okay, I can't with this nose today, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's get another number, <laughs> another random number here. <clears throat> let's put that right there. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, Rosemary. Thanks for stopping by, girl. If y'all don't, if y'all don't uh, subscribe to Rosemary, you should. Rock Paper Journey. She does awesome, awesome videos of junk journals, and her junk journal is always super crazy embellished. So if you want some awesome ideas, I suggest you uh, subscribe to her. Hi, April. What's up? So we got. I got a nice little stash here of flowers with just random numbers. <laughs> Again, my newest printable in my shop. Just random numbers and random sequences that I put together late at night. <laughs> they don't mean anything. It's just aesthetic. <laughs> just for the just for the gram, you know. <laughs> just for the gram. <laughs> Let's put this one right here. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, 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 April, I went thrift shopping. Well, it wasn't thrift shopping because the one thrift shop I did want to go to was closed. <laughs> so I went to some antique shops around my downtown area here in Vegas because I've never actually done that. And I was like, why have I not never done this? Like, actually, I did that one time, one time, literally, like. I can't even, like, it was must, must have been, like, seven years ago. Because I have a bunch of ephemera that I got one time. <laughs> Let me show you while you're here, April. Let me show everybody my tiny little haul from the antique shop. Super tiny. <laughs> but it was kind of, like, in the style of the one that we went to, April. Um... So they all had, you know, different little booths and everybody sold their little items. So I got this for six bucks. And apparently there are these like stamps, you know how they used to have those like promotional stamps at grocery stores and stuff. Like I have digital copies of that. I love that yellow cellophane. If I could find this yellow cellophane tape, I would buy it because it's so sweet. Um, so there's a bunch of these. Then there's the actual like little book that they would go into. And these ones, I have one, but it's all empty. And this one has a bunch of stamps. Like they really loved this uh, grocery store. And there's, so there's all this right here. For six dollars, so that's not bad at all. I'm thinking these could be awesome just to like stick in the corner of a junk journal, and I have so many, so why not? So that was a great find. I was really, really picky with what I bought because I bought so much stuff lately, so I was really, really picky. I got this really pretty handkerchief for two dollars. Looks like it's from Hot Flash Designs. That's funny. Hotflashdesigns.com. Um, I guess they have a website. Let me open it. 
So I thought this was um, pretty decently priced. Little pretty little handkerchief I could do something with. It's almost see-through. Isn't that pretty? It's really sweet and it's like see-through and it's beautiful. And it makes me want to like dress like the like the women in Greece. <laughs> and they sent some really pretty scrap of paper because they know what's up. Okay, so I got that. And I also got this awesome... It's like a washcloth. I don't know what this is. Like a table. Actually, this might be like a table runner. It's kind of long. And I believe this was $4. So I thought, I'm like, you know, I can make a cover out of this half right here. Look how pretty that's all hand embroidered. Um, flowers on there. My grandma does this kind of stuff. <laughs> not on this nice of uh, material. I mean, you could edge it. It's not that hard. That's a serger. That is super cute. So I thought this would make really nice covers. Right? That's why I got this. Four bucks. Not bad. I was debating because I've bought so much fabric. But I'm like, no, I need that. It's only four dollars. And then this is the, the steel of the century right here. I want to do a collection with vintage books. And I thought this would be the perfect start. I kept finding a bunch of vintage books, but they were all really small spines. And so this one was a really nice size. Look at this really pretty pink, like almost Pepto-Bismol pink. So this is six bucks. I thought it was worth it because of the color. Um, vintage, like <laughs> Pepto-Bismol pink. And it's called The Little Colonel Maid of Honor. And that title is in gold. So I was like, yes. Again, the spine is at least one inch thick, which is what I'm looking for, actually. And the funny thing I thought about this book was that this girl named Katie, she literally went through every page <laughs> and she wrote her name on every page. Sometimes Kate, sometimes Katie, but she wrote on every single page <laughs> this girl had some time to burn um i'll cover this with fabric but for the most part the cover is beautiful pink color so this <laughs> was the last thing i bought i didn't buy any more but that's what i was able to find and i actually went to at least like eight antique shops i'll say i'll say yeah <clears throat> at the most it was eight it was probably more like six but i went to like eight of them and i was like said i've been really picky and the prices are really expensive. Um, but that book, that hot pink book, I thought was really worth it. What? I was like, you ain't about to see my book. Yeah, she's like, oh, you're going to know it's mine. Like, <laughs> nobody reads this book. <laughs> I was like, did she really write on every page? Yep, she really did. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm, it's probably something I would have done. <laughs> back in the days. <laughs> so I'm really happy with what I was able to find. Um, but like I said, I've been really, really picky lately. <laughs> I don't want any more bed sheets, even though they keep freaking coming. They keep coming at me. <laughs> I swear they keep coming for me. So this one's really simple. And there's still other places I want to go to. And like I said, the one thrift shop I wanted to go to, I guess they're like Christian or like they're religious because they close on Sundays. That's how I feel about any place that closes on a Sunday. Like they must be religious. I don't know. Because um, I think it is like a Catholic charity kind of place. And I usually, I remember finding good clothes. I can't remember the last time I went there to find junk journal supplies. And now, April, I'm thinking back to that thrift store in Ventura that we went to where they had the the vintage books for like three or four bucks. <laughs> I was missing those prices, let me tell you what. <laughs> 
I was really missing those prices at these thrift stores. They wanted like full on $25 for books. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're doing that. <laughs> but I guess these are thrift shops. They weren't. I mean, they were vintage stores. They weren't thrift shops. So I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But I was still very picky with what I got. Yeah, they were like, I mean, they were very vintage. But like I said, it was like $6 for the book. But the spine was like not even half an inch. And it's like, I can't do anything with that. Like, I need a bigger spine. So... This is the only one really I could find that worked and that I like the cover. So I'm going to be very, very picky trying to collect vintage books for that collection. I have a bunch of collections in mind. I just have to <laughs> get robot hands and work in my sleep. <laughs> That's all. That's all I have to do. <laughs> okay, I'm picking out some smallish flowers. And... We are going to put more flowers on here. Very, very easy embellishments that I'm doing here. Y'all know I like easy embellishments. Oh, and I also got a bunch of lace from, um, oh my God, I, want, I know her last name is Lemon. What was her first name? Oh my God. <laughs> Why can't I think right now? I can't think right now. Where did you get the cool flowers? These are from my mystery boxes. Let me get you the link. Um, they are also in my store available um, to print out and cut out yourself if that's what you want to do. Yeah, really, really easy and it looks so nice. And I'm using my newest printable. But of course, you can just use any word in front of a flower. And as long as it's, you know, within the size of your flower, it'll work. And it looks really, really cute. Thank you, Irene. Sorry if I keep my nose. <laughs> it's terrible right now. Just because it's windy. But it's also what's keeping it the day fresh. <laughs> so I'm fine with it right now. Oh, hang on. My face needs a little bit of lotion. My face is really dry right now. Why is my face dry? I need a shower. I need to exfoliate. Oh, I bought vitamin E oil. Oh, Matt. I need to put that in my hair. My hair is dying for some moisture. Like, dying. Okay. Okay, so... That a little bit. And just get these numbers. This one actually says number. <laughs> and I made these because I made way too many embellishments with words. And I was like, no, I need to <laughs> I need to do something. I can't have a word on every page. <laughs> it's like I need numbers. And I think my next one might be random addresses. Mm. I was thinking of making another set and then it was too late at night. <laughs> it was too late at night. Oh, you hear the birds? There's like this toucan guy and he always wakes me up at night. Like if I wake up around this time, like I got to turn on the TV and crank it up a little bit because that toucan bird is so loud. <laughs> Oh, and then there's an owl. That's the owl that you're hearing. Hi, Shelly. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what bird it is. To me, it sounds like an owl. I don't know. We got some old trees around here. And like I said, I opened the, the door because... I wanted the breeze to get in here a little bit. So there's that. Just random numbers. They don't mean anything. <laughs> they don't mean anything at all. I just 
This one, I'm like, it has to have six because that's what fits in the middle. <laughs> that's it. That's, <laughs> that's all these numbers mean. But I was not, in, well, you know what? I guess most people in Vegas don't have, like, mature trees. Most houses in Vegas are, like, brand new from, like, the 90s, from the 2000s. And I live in a trailer park that's pretty old. Like, my trailer's from 66, and I'm pretty sure it's been here the whole time. And um, I have two big trees outside my place. And I guess they have birds in them. Like, I don't normally hear birds like this anywhere else in town at all. Maybe my mom's house. My mom lives by like some, I don't know, some like water drainage something canal. And there's always frogs there at night, <laughs> which is gross. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like the sound of frogs. <laughs> this is pretty right here. Put that flower. Let's get this one on the house so many already, but I am not tripping because I need a lot of them. I got 20 junk journals to decorate, you guys. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and I wanted to work on the signature today, but then I made this sick this printable, and I was like, no, I want to work on embellishments. <laughs> Still, I'm pushing it. I'm really pushing it. But um, I have about 10 junk journals already um, that have the signatures picked out, like the papers anyways, and folded and cut to size. And um, then I have to sew all the, like, lace or, like, the fabric. I'm going to put all the signatures. And, um, yeah, it's quite the process. <laughs> but it's going along. It's going along. I work a little bit, you know, every day. Chipping our way at it, hoping to get it done by the May 1st, which is the release date of the junk journals that I'm working with and all these embellishments I've been working on. Like, this is why. <laughs> this is why I've got to put all these junk journals out for sale. Um, let's see, I'm just going through my flowers. This is like the last of the last of my flowers right now. So I feel like I don't have much of a selection, but I know that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's get all these done here. It's a lot to do. I don't even know if this will fit. Will this look good? Yeah, that looks kind of cute. Okay, let's do that. We had a sewing machine once, and it kicked your behind, knots everywhere, and tangled mess. Yeah, it is. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, you know, <laughs> it's like a printer. <laughs> like, it really has its own mind, I feel. I don't know. <laughs> it knows when you really need, a need, really need to use it, and it's like, nah, not today. I'll tell you, I feel, I feel you're paying with that. There's been a couple of times that I'm just like, I can't, like, I can't deal with you today. Your attitude sucks. <laughs> and I have broken a couple. I don't know. I'm not even going to say I haven't. I don't even know how. But they cost the same to get a new one than to replace it. <clears throat> than to get it fixed. So, I don't know. So, I can find a reasonable place that will fix it for a reasonable price. I gotta get, just gotta get a new one. <laughs> Cause my show must go on. Hi, Miss Gigi. Welcome. And I need to film my um, succulent video. Succulent collection video. You can also just glue these and they would look cute. Before I did this, I glued everything down, so. You just discovered how to increase stitch length on your machine. Hey, girl, don't worry about it. 
I have a bunch of birds, I guess that's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They're just doing their little thing out there being birds while it's still not hot. I don't recall hearing birds in the summer, but I think it's because I have my AC on and it's really loud. <laughs> Okay, okay. So there's these little flowers right here. Let me get some water. I'm a little thirsty. The good thing about these morning lives is I might have more energy if I don't have anything to do. Because sometimes <clears throat> my only problem with going live in the morning is that once in a while... um. My mom wants me to go hang out with her, or I want to go hang out with my mom. And she wants me to go, like, right after I go drop off my husband off work. Which is, like, 6 in the morning. She's ridiculous with the early, with the early-ish <laughs> stuff that she likes to do. It's not at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning to her. It's, like, too late. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> that is how she does. Oh, Maggie, don't, if I could, if I had to sew something that, like, actually mattered, like, not that it, this doesn't matter, but, like, you know, it's a junk journal, so there's, like, way less stress to get things perfect or straight or not bunched up, but, you know, these are junk journals, so I am not even going to worry about it that much. <laughs> if it's not perfect, it's fine. It's, it's a junk journal. But hey, if I had to sew something like a shirt, like if my life depended on it, if this was the apocalypse and somehow we still had light for like another week and I could make a whole new wardrobe for myself. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. So <laughs> as long as the things don't have to be straight <laughs> or functionable, I could I could hang out. I could do it. <laughs> Like, I think I might be able to do, I feel like I might be able to do that uh, unconventional challenge on Project Runway. Because I've sewn paper to fabric and fabric to paper. So I really feel like I could probably maybe sew together some, I can't imagine like sewing such weird things together. I know they glue a lot of things, but they do sew a lot of things too, and that's nuts. Like, I don't know if I could sew, like, um, beach balls together. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> but I love watching the unconventional challenge on Frederick Runway. My favorite. I know I can make a dress out of paper. And hey, this I just know how to work this sewing machine, and I keep buying this sewing machine, even though it keeps breaking on me, because I know how to use it. <laughs> so, <laughs> life's not all perfect in paradise over here. <laughs> it's just I'm familiar with it, so I keep buying it, even though it's probably not the best sewing machine. But, like I told April when I'm when I met her. I'm like, you know, if I had to buy a 400, if I bought a $400 machine and I broke that, I'd rather break four $100 machines and just have to pay $100 instead of $400 to get a new one. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> okay. So there is that easy flower. So I might have a little bit more energy to do longer lives in the morning than I did at night because I was already tired or sleepy or... I didn't want to be too loud so my husband could sleep. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they are. They're in my shop. Let me get you the link. I put them under vocabulary words because, I don't know, I, had, I wasn't really creative last night. <laughs> and I'm like, I guess it could be vintage vocabulary words. <laughs> I made them last night literally before I went to bed. I put them up for sale. I'm like, I'm going to want to work with these in the morning. I put them up for sale, and I put them through my scan and cut. Oh, dang. Is that all the flowers I picked out? Wow, that goes by fast. Okay. I 
have a lot of these flowers I gotta do here. Ah, oh, that one flung out. It's okay if I keep doing the same. I'm kind of like left with these flowers, so it's okay if I keep doing the same flowers over and over. They will not end up in the same journal <laughs> at all. I have a lot of these to do. Let's just say that. But you do get a lot of the numbers on one set. So this is uh, one set, and you get two pages. I don't even, I didn't even count how many. There's nine lines, three, five, so nine times five. I can't math right now, but that's how many, <laughs> that's how many words are there. I cannot think right now. Nine times five, I don't know what that is. Fail, Daisy. 45? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 45, because 10 times five is 50. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Y'all thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I don't know why there would be a reason why I wouldn't know that right now. It's just too early for me. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> it hasn't woke up. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's do this one. This one. Yeah, no math before 8 a.m. They're right. I still got nine minutes to say that. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize if I offended any mathematicians in the audience. <laughs> Sorry. I'll go back to school now. <laughs> Um, I'm just pulling out a bunch of flowers. Like, put words in the front of it. And I'm trying to pick kind of smallish flowers, not too big. I am down to the nitty gritty over here. I guess what I'm going to be doing all day today, making more flowers. <laughs> okay. Got this selection here, so let's get to work. A random little number plate. I guess I could have called them number plates. <laughs> That's a good name, GD. <laughs> I might rename those. I don't know. I wasn't really thinking last night. <laughs> I was not thinking last night. Have a good day, Tina. Thank you. There's that. Little numbers. Look at this nice little stash I got. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's do this one here. I think to speed it up, I'm just going to let them ride. What I mean is, I'm just going to sew continuously. Grab a random, this one might be too big. <laughs> uh, this one too. <laughs> it's not going to work. This one might still work. I'm just doing one line. Tucking it in the corner like that. I learned this from Gail. <laughs> this is not on any hacks. I don't know why it should have been. I watched a lot of how to sew videos. I didn't show this on any of those videos. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, and I also got Olive Garden this weekend because it's such a I had Olive Garden last weekend, but then I wanted it this weekend, too. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to go back to the gym. I know. <laughs> Y'all ever do the most and be like, I got to go back to the gym. <laughs> I got to stop doing this. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, so 
here's this number right here. So I got a nice little chain going so far. You love Olive Garden too. You don't have one with an eight out girl. Ugh. I need to live where I need to move where you live because I need to get away. I need to stay away from that place. <laughs> I need to stay away from that place. That's gonna be a good time. October. They're supposed to. They're supposed to have their never ending possible. I mean, I heard that from a. I heard that from somebody. <laughs> I heard that somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> That's when they have their never-ending pasta pastas. I just keep sending them out. I actually just eat one and then I take one to go because I can't. <laughs> I cannot eat pasta like that. <laughs> it's not my intention. <laughs> I just like to have one to go. <laughs> oh, Shelly. Uh, Shelby, I am so happy for you. <laughs> Best news I heard all week. <laughs> I'm happy for you. That sounds, oh, I'd be so mad if there wasn't one. But like I said, I need to stay away from that place. <laughs> I really, really do need to stay away from Olive Garden. But it's so good. <laughs> okay, let's do this one right here. And I want to try making glue books. Apparently, it's like the hottest thing right now. Anything Gail does, I want to try. So, <sighs> I heard Gail was making glue books, and now I want to make a glue book. <laughs> That's how I feel. Because I already covered the whole page anyways. <laughs> like, why not? Why not? It's just like collage on a whole page, so I want to try it. I don't think it's I need any more supplies than I already have. <laughs> okay, so here's this one right here. Really easy, really quick. Oh my gosh, I've already made so many of these. Right there. There we go. I guess all the dogs in the neighborhood are waking up too. <laughs> Okay, back to work. Just sneaked in to see what you're making. Gotta go. Have a great day. Bye, cat. See you, girl. See ya. Oh, yeah. I'm changing the time of my lives for now. This will be the new time I go live. 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come hang out with me. And come say stuff to me. <laughs> come talk to me. Okay, so... I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to start drinking coffee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to because it's too early for me to eat around this time. So, if I drink coffee, I won't be that hungry. Ooh, look at this nice little tree here. Cut these. Easiest freaking embellishments. That's what I'm into <laughs> right now. Just for right now. Okay. It's raining embellishments, y'all. All right. This looks so pretty and such a nice little stash. I'm so happy. So, this is what I've done in the past, oh, hour. That's not bad for an hour's work. This is pretty much how I like to work about an hour or so at a time. Just so I don't get, you know, annoyed or 
sick of it or just kind of something it happens to me. I get over things and I find them to be too difficult or not fun anymore. I'm just like eh, over it. So if I craft for about an hour at a time or so, sometimes I go live for longer and I feel like I won't get sick of it. I do things off off camera too sometimes because I can't exactly make 20 junk journals live. <laughs> I could probably make like five live. Everything else is just kind of repetitive. So, yeah, crafting for a short amount of time is really what helps me kind of stay focused, I would say. And even get things done faster. I would say. But I like to make these collages and digitals and everything. Kind of not thinking about it. Kind of being free. Kind of not worrying about is it supposed to look like this or not. Just kind of doing it. That's what I, I, I would hope for more crafty people is that they try not to try to get rid of that whole it has to be perfect or it has to look like her journal. You know what I mean? If you can craft a little bit freer, you might enjoy it more. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Remember I'm telling you about that weird light? That funky light. Okay, this will work still. Yeah, I def I can see that in your journals, April. I can see that you don't you know, you just let it flow. Just gotta let it let it flow. <laughs> Even if it's crooked, like I'm still gonna just, you know, move on. I'm not going to sit there and dwell on why is it crooked and what did I do <laughs> to deserve this. <laughs> Just going to move on. Glue it down and move on. <laughs> and life happens. You know. Hang on. Let me close this window. Cause, well, not close it, but like put the cover on it. It's a piece of styrofoam. <laughs> One second. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, so slow. Let me come through. It's gonna ruin my whole light setup. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're still here. We're good. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about all that. Yes, yeah, you know, to just—it's not work. You know, this is art. So don't think about it being so perfect all the time. Like, for example, like, I don't know if you guys watch Sigita. Sigita's junk journals are, like, amazing. And they're so messy, and they're, like, all over the place, and there's no rules, and she just does whatever she wants on a page. I admire that so much. I can't make a journal in the style of Sigita, but I admire her ability to just, like, go with the flow, you know? <laughs> Like, don't worry about, is it supposed to look like this? Just go with the flow. Also, April, April does some awesome junk journals. So she just, she just does it, you know? <laughs> she doesn't worry about how it's supposed to look, which is what I love. What I love about junk journals, really, because I can't, I come from the world of scrapbooking and from the world of making greeting cards. <laughs> And I felt like everything had to be so perfect with greeting cards and with scrapbooking. Like everything had to be perfectly aligned and centered and it has to be clean and you can't get a smudge on anything and it has to be straight. And that's kind of what I found freeing about junk journals is that it didn't matter if the pages were different sizes, it didn't matter if you got something a little bit messier or anything like that. Would you do a video on the difference between a junk journal, a flow journal, and a glue book? And a Mindoro. I've never heard of a Mindoro. I've heard of a Midori, like a travel journal, like a travel notebook. That sounds like a good topic. That sounds like a good topic. Let me get some water.
yes, with the whole perfectly measured out thing, I just could never, I could never get into that groove. It was just too many rules for me. And although I did enjoy it, and I still have a bunch of freaking greeting cards left over, <laughs> and I want to get rid of, my husband will let me. Um, I enjoyed more of the messy style of junk journaling, or of journaling, like, making greeting cards, because there was that style of, like, almost, like, perfectly messy. <laughs> almost perfectly messy, I'll say that. I know what you mean. I swear I look like a year. I took, I took like a year to make my hardback junk journal. I made it so stressful, but I finally finished it. Thanks to all of you guys. I got brave and posted it to junk journal. Oh, to uh, YouTube. Way to go, Kelly. And you know what? And YouTube also, that's a whole other thing to get used to. Like, you know, you just. We worry about your first video, and everybody worries about their first video. But you know what? Everybody starts somewhere. And by posting videos, you find out what you got to improve. And you just, you know, take it from there. You get better at it. Nobody's perfect right off the bat unless they work for CNN or something. Some network where somebody is in charge of all that stuff, and you just get in front of the camera. Like, we all understand that we're all doing this ourselves. <laughs> So don't you put so much pressure on yourself and get those videos out and practice makes perfect, you know, practice makes perfect. We all start somewhere. So you go, Kelly, you go. Proud of you. Yeah, definitely. My first videos, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's the same way, <laughs> April. Everybody, look at this nice mess of stuff I got. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice change of pace over the like numbers I had or the words I had. Okay, so I have a couple left. Why don't I do? I do have my scraps of paper here. Why don't I do like I did for the words? Yeah, that was nice. I did do that. Okay. So, let me see. Where's my pretty scraps? I don't know where they are. They're not here. <sighs> like my nice metallic scraps and my gold scraps are not in here. Okay. Well, I'm going to do some other simple embellishments where I get like a small scrap of paper. Like this, and then I just attach it like this, just to one piece of scrap paper. And I'm just going to sew the number on there, just straight down. And now I can make this shorter if I want when I go to decorate the journal. This is another simple, really simple embellishment, it's just on a piece of scrap paper. Put that down on there. So here we go again with the scrap paper on this like little butterfly paper here. Put it over here to add a little bit of interest. Just straight right here. That's pretty right there. And keeping it simple, keeping it real, you know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> keeping it real gangsta. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, stop listening to me now. <laughs> okay, so there's that one with the pretty numbers. Again, just a simple strip. Let's do some with some, like... That gold rose color shimmer there. Let's do that. Paula. Oh my god, that's who it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so rewind back <laughs> to when I was doing my haul. And I also got this lace bundle from Paula Lemon. Oh my god, now I remember. Paula Lemon on Junk Journal Junkies Boutique. 
she posted about lace and I got this whole bundle. Uh, she said 60 yards of lace for $30. So I got it. And look at this pretty lace right here. It's so teeny tiny. That's going to look adorable at the end of pages. There's a lot of it. Pretty yellow lace, really thin. Pretty gorgeous blue lace right here. This is beautiful. Um, and there's this really wide, there's a bunch of wide laces in here. All in all, I mean, this is a really nice size bag <laughs> for $30. Like, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to show that off. I forgot. Because I was like, what is her name? What's freaking Paula Lemon? Duh. <laughs> I'm like, Lemon, Lemon. And I kept thinking Lemon, but oh, my God. it just hit me right now. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to be working with that lace when it comes to these journals. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's a lot of lace. I thought it wasn't going to be a lot, but it's a lot. It's got really, really wide lace, so I'm definitely going to be able to just like cut that up into different sections. Again, we're just making more really simple embellishments. Just till I run out of these words. I wanted to do all of them. So there's those. Again, I'm just using my scraps from all the other embellishments I've been using for these journals. So they're all going to coordinate. So they're all going to have the same paper. I'm using the same paper pads. So let's put this over here. And I like to put it up, up against the edge there. Oh, man. What percent done are they? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that, April. <laughs> I have 10 junk journals right now that are covered, have the inside cover done, have the signatures picked out so they just need to be I need to uh, put the lace or fabric at the edge I need to sew the late the signature together and sew it into the cover like oh my God. I don't even know maybe like <laughs> uh 20 percent no 30 percent 30 percent I would say 30 I still have to go out and chase about six more junk journals, six more books to cover. Uh, it's a mess. It might be shorter than 20. I don't know. <laughs> there was a sale at my local libraries and I freaking missed it. So I'm kind of upset about it. <laughs> um, but I got to go buy some more books for sure for this. So here's these numbers right there. Straight down, making the world's simplest embellishments. But I have all the embellishments I could possibly need for these journals. I just keep making more because I'm just like that, I guess. <laughs> it's just what I do, apparently. These back. I pulled out too many papers at once. Let's see. This pink, this teal, this blue. Just pulling out different scraps. Some of the prettier ones that I can see <laughs> that are left. Okay. Just gonna finish up these words here. Okay. And I'm just doing one line because I kind of like the look of the one line. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. So it has some pretty gold foil. I wish I knew where my Glitter scraps were, I guess, per se. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, forget everything else. The rest is glitter. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Don't have that many words left, but this was really, really good. Got this pearl paper. Yes. 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 Hi, Christine. Welcome, welcome. So really, really simple. Ooh, this is that pretty, like, satin, like, mermaidy paper. Really, really small embellishment this one will be. It looks pretty. Just random words, you guys. They don't mean anything. <laughs> they really don't mean anything. Like I said, there my birthday is in there, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I was born on December fifty four of nineteen seventy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really. December fifty four. <laughs> the last. December 54, anybody. Ah! Okay, well, that one went off to the side because I was making jokes. <laughs> but I'll still use it. <laughs> okay, I've got my little glittery, literally these are my glitter leftovers, but I still keep them for things like this. You never know. You never know. It's such a nice day with the wind. All right. If only I wasn't allergic to slight wind. <laughs> Slightly windy days mess me up, man. And allergies. Ooh, that's pretty with the glitter. Love it. The glitter. Thumbs up for easy embellishments, you guys. If you're into it, thumbs up. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It really helps me out. Ooh, this one's like glitter foil. No, not glitter foil. Like rose gold foil. I love it. Let me get this over here. That looks really good. It's windy and all things around my house are flying around. I think I just heard some stuff moving around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's put this paper right here. It's that one. That looks good right there. These are just my little extra bits and bobs of this pretty paper that I just love and I can't let go of it. I gotta, I gotta use all the little teeniest, tiniest little scraps. <laughs> but isn't that what junk journaling is all about? <laughs> Using up all your little scraps. I save the smallest of the small scraps. I don't know. I'm crazy, but that's just what I do. That's just what I do. More glitter. Right there with the glitter. Love it. I got a couple more, and I've, oh my god, I've made so many embellishments. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's made so many. Okay, I'm trying to look through all my little bits. Looks like this will have to be up here. Yep, that will be there. Actually, let me put it down here. Okay. Ah, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> With my scissors. <laughs> Oddly enough. Okay, I need a chapstick and some water. One second. I should have cut out the other pages I printed out. That's what I should have done. 
Um, so I could just keep on going with this. This is fun to me. Finding different little scraps to attach these to. It might turn into a hobby for me. I don't know. Right here. This is pretty. This satin paper. Oh my gosh. Of course, I keep all my glittery scraps together. <laughs> Keep those separate. Okay, so there's that. Again, these are from, these are the newest printables in my shop. They're just random numbers all in here. Different little styles. They're really, they're actually really tiny. They're not big at all. Um, I kind of wanted these small on the smaller side. Let's get these two together with this one and that'll look pretty because by themselves they're too skinny. Let's get this together here. Let's do one more. One more, one more here. That looks pretty with the glitter and the foil and the yes. <laughs> I love it. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that doesn't work. They're both the same. No. Okay, here's some other stuff right here. It's like satin paper with this like other satin paper. I don't even know what the difference is between these. Let's see right here. Let's get this together. Ooh, the needle, the needle, the thread jumped out. One moment. Technical difficulties right here. Okay. That'll work. Just like chopped up the thread. That's so weird. So weird. Sounds like I live in a safari out here. I can't see. Oh my god, I can't see it. <laughs> Come on, you. There we go. Yay. Oof. Oof. What the heck? What the heck, sickles? <laughs> Julie, yes, I'm going to be going live in the mornings now. I got to become a morning person overnight. I got to start going to bed early. <laughs> That's my only problem is I'm too used to going to bed late. <laughs> but now it's got to stop. <laughs> Fun stops here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see what else. This one here. Let's put that together first. Okay. Jumped out of place just a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. Okay, right there. I used to go to bed late. I just, just to watch you. Now I get to sleep. Yes, Julie. <laughs> now you'll get to sleep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's pretty with the gold foil. Let's see, we got a couple more. This one. Right. Ooh. Push it up a little bit. They move a little bit. It might be better to glue this, but you know, God, you guys know I don't. <laughs> you know I don't make things easy for myself. So there's that one. 
just with all my little scraps. <laughs> just putting all the little scraps together. I cannot wait to decorate these journals. Ah, oh. let's see. First, I gotta get all these. Ugh, there's a lot to do. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm actually gonna get to work on the journal. I gotta sew in a bunch of signatures and get them glued into their cover. So I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. So that'll be fun to see. Again, I will be going to uh, live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Or oh, not 9 a.m. Oh my god! <laughs> I have to learn it again. I am going live at 7 a.m. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my brain cannot process. I'm going live at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you guys want to join me, like I said, I'm going to be working on my junk journal spring collection, my spring junk journal collection. I'm going to be continuing on working on the covers, sewing in the signatures. That's on the menu tomorrow because I really got to get a move on those. <laughs> I really got to stop playing around. Um, Kate, because it's hot. <laughs> it's starting to get hot here in Vegas now. And last night I was waiting to go live. It was 8 o'clock and I looked at the temperature and it was 98 degrees. I mean, not 98, 78 degrees. So <laughs> it's just that time now where the temperature changes. And my AC is way too loud. I don't want my husband to go to bed hot because he can't turn on the AC. And so, yeah, for now, I'm going live at 7 a.m. Um, till I get my new AC or till I move into my parents' house. I don't know what the deal is. I got to figure it out real soon. But for now, the fix is to go live at 7 a.m. When I don't need the AC. Yeah. Washington, it's cold over there. No, I mean, it, it's been fresh here. And I haven't had any problems because by 7 o'clock, by the time the sun goes down, it's, it's not hot anymore. But now, <laughs> like I said, I waited till 8 o'clock and I'm like, it's really hot still. <laughs> like I went outside and usually by that time it's fresh. It was hot, so I was like, no, nah, I can't, I can't do this. I can't, and like I said, I don't want my husband to be hot <laughs> trying to sleep. That's another thing, another reason. Let's see here. So, yeah, trust me, I'd rather it be 9 o'clock at night. But like I said, until I fix up my AC or until I move in to my parents' house, that's just what it's going to have to be. So I appreciate everybody still hanging out with me. <laughs> very, very much. Still appreciate it. Okay, so that's everything. For now, until it's too hot to go live at this time, too. Because that's going to happen eventually, too. It's going to be too hot to go live even at 7 in the morning. <laughs> like, somewhere around here, like, it literally never cools down. So this is what I've done today. It's quite, quite a lot. I still have enough energy to say I want to keep going live, but I've kind of ran out of these things. I made all of them. So I did a lot, actually. It feels like I did it. But at the same time, I did. <laughs> what will you do when it's too hot in the day and too hot at night? I will probably go to my parents' house and go live at their house. <laughs> I've never had to do this. I've never gone live like every day and everything. So I'll probably have to go live at my parents' house. Just drive over there, go live, <laughs> say hi, and then be like, peace out. <laughs> That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. So thank you guys so much for joining me on today's live. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow in the morning at um, 7 a.m. <laughs> Got to remember that. 7 a.m. I'll be going live tomorrow morning. I'll be working on my junk journal, so I'll probably be going live for a couple hours. So, um, again, I was using my newest uh, junk journal printable that's in my store to use to make these. 
really, really simple embellishments. I felt like I had enough words. So I'm like, let me get some numbers in here. So thank you guys so, so much uh, for hanging out with me this morning. Like I said, um, it's just circumstances right now because the summer, the weather change, just what I got to do. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, if it's too early for you, catch the replay <laughs> for now. I'm just trying to fix it. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Kate. Thank you to April and to Kelly, Christine, and to Irene and Felicia. Thank you, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out, you guys. Have a good day.